Hi guys. Well, I've had a productive day today. It was payday. So I did all the usual, um... Sorry, distracted for a second there. Yeah, it was payday, so, um... I did the usual sort of walk around town, although I didn't go to all charity shops, mainly because it was pissing down with rain, and secondly, I'd only been round them all a few days ago. But I went back to one first this morning, because I had a bag of bicycle lights, with brackets, five lights, six brackets, um, that I wanted earlier in the week, but didn't have the cash for, and they were still there today. So, uh, I bought them, and that's what these are. <laughs> that's the bottom side. So there they are, they're Pifco brand. There's all the couple of spare screws, I'll show you what they are for in a minute. Chuck them out of the way. Yes, five lights, six brackets, so I'm assuming one got broken or whatever, lost, damaged, who knows. Anyway. I then went to the all sorts shop and found this. Now, this isn't as I found it. Um, mostly because the red lens is here. I've swapped them. Because uh, I had a couple of these where these clips on the back had actually broken. So um, I thought, considering I already had a rear one. So I'll just take the lens out of the broken front one and put it in there and have a pair of black as well. Now, as you noticed, I've got this one as well, off screen to the left there, because also off screen is another pair. Now, I've had this, this pair for yonks. Actually, I bought this pair on eBay. Did I get this pair? There's one pair I bought on eBay and one pair... I can't remember where the other pair come from, actually. Um, there's a bunch of spares. I've got some more spares for these lamps. Because the two that had the broken clip, I took apart for parts. Anyway, as I've got these here, which are odd, I thought I'd uh, put that with that lot. So I've now got four pairs there. And a spare rear one, where the clip was a bit here at the top there, but... It's together. Um, I'm pretty certain I've got spare brackets for those. Well, I've got all the bits of these because, again, these brackets are quite versatile because I've got that worm screw type bracket, which means I can pretty much mount these on any size tube on a bike. Well, to a point. Obviously not too big because it won't go round, but this will mount to most handlebars, stem, um, handle, um, handlebar stems, seat posts, etc. Rear seat stays, and all that. They will mount to most of those. I actually noticed one of these has had the screw replaced. Oh, bent as well. Never mind. I've got plenty of these top bits spare. I can just bend that one back. That one's definitely been used, but some of these... This one hasn't been used. And I can tell because there's not a speck of rust on that screw and the bracket is still pretty damn clean. Same with that one, so we've actually got at least a pair here that haven't been used. No, nope, change that. We've got, got three brackets there that haven't been used. These three, I think, you see, it's got a rusty nut in there, that's how you can tell. And that one's had the bolt replaced for a longer one for some reason. And then there's that one, which has also got... A rusty bolt. Or actually, if it's been used, which that one may have, then it hasn't actually been used for long, because uh, it's not rusty. But I can actually see some damage to the worm screw, so that may have been used. That one definitely hasn't. Nor has that one. <laughs> so I've got two brand new brackets there. Four pounds I paid for the lot. Which... I didn't mind. <laughs> Just got a message from a friend. 
he thought he'd upgrade his Windows Vista laptop to Windows 10. Now I said be careful because Windows 10 is not known to have good compatibility with certain games. So it may not be good for gaming. Um, he had to upgrade to Windows 8 before he could upgrade to Windows um, 10. Um, but he's just messaged me saying, I'm going to... I'm going to roll back the laptop to Win 8, I think, because Win 10 isn't compatible with some of my old games. Duh. <laughs> I feel like messaging back saying, told you so. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to be that much of an asshole. <laughs> I could. I didn't warn him before he um, upgraded that if he's going to play games, it wouldn't be good for it. <clears throat> so I have heard, not only from one of my friends down the road, who's a gamer, um, but by various people online that play games, that Windows 10 isn't the best. I basically just do a lot of web browsing, so it's fine for me. I've not had really any issues, apart from when I updated so I could use Cortana over in this country, because it wasn't available in this country when Windows 10 first came out. It returned a lot of my um, settings back to default, such as Windows Media Player as being the default media player when I use VLC. Um, I think it did the... No, I don't think it did it to um, Firefox. I did change a couple of settings back to the sort of default settings, which was annoying. But, uh, it was easily fixed, so I suppose I can't really complain. It's just annoying when it does that. You know, it's an extra task you just don't want to do. You just want things left alone. Um, but yeah, I did get a few other bits out of all sorts as well. Um, me and Mum did go and sue Ryder, though, and I found this for 50p. It's worth more than that, but... That's what it's got in there. Ma it was £3, and I know it had been in there, standing in the same spot for um, a good two weeks, and I suppose before they threw it out, they thought they'd uh, mark it down, you know. It's all profit. It's a donated item, and they got it for free, so... It's not like they're losing profit. It's not a great profit, but as they say, every little helps. To be honest, I'd have paid the three pounds before, but I didn't really think I'd need it. I needed it a couple of weeks ago till I got all those uh, CDs the other side of that chair. <laughs> the other things I got from all sorts. Is it me or do I have a sudden thing of just suddenly changing subject? Anyway, I've got a bunch of um, PlayStation 1 demos. Uh, GTA 2 for the PC. I've got it for the PlayStation 1. And I saw that, and it was all there, all come under one job, a lot of bits. So, very tatty looking. Um, I may not even play now. PlayStation 2 demo. Some more. I thought I actually had five of these. Or oh, I did, it's over here. Five audio tapes. These were all in a bag. So I pretty much just emptied the bag. <laughs> Some audio tapes. I've got no idea if there's anything on them. Fantastic sound, apparently, on this one. Tape FEI made in Germany. Mm. MTech. Ferro Extra. I've got no idea what that is. 90 minute. I know I've got one album there. Got, well, I've got a Meat Life case. It doesn't necessarily mean it's in there. I haven't looked. Is it in there? Oh, it is in there. Well, hey, I've got some Meat Life. In case as well. No, I really am feeling nostalgic with these because I did have loads of these at one point. And just a cheap organiser got thrown in as well. A Casio. And I think the battery is dead because I 
Well, I haven't even found an on the button yet. But I remember when these personal organisers were all the rage. You know, before mobile phones and smartphones and whatnot really took off. Well, smartphones pretty much, you know, you can do everything that those do, so... I mean, <laughs> it's another sort of a piece of obsolete tech. Same as that, really. Which reminds me... You may remember I threw a very weird looking Dell charger away. Well, that's the Dell that goes to it, so... Uh, I did have to go down to the bin and open up the bag, which thank thankfully was sitting on top of everything. And just rescue the charger before it get, um, got taken away. And I did have to clean it down because it had bean juice all over it. Baked bean juice. Um, me being me though, did keep the adapter for it. So, I can charge it, I can use it. It's got the docking station. But again, it's just pretty much, it still works, still holds the charge. And it's just obsolete now. That's what happens to a lot of technology. It just becomes obsolete. New things come along, people want the new things, and the old things get left in drawers and cupboards and attics and boxes, and then probably thrown out down the dump or something. Oh, actually, speaking of the dump, I've got this beauty down there today. Nice five pound bike. Um, I pumped the tyres up while I was at Mum's, because that's where I disappeared to this afternoon. Um, as far as repairs go, all I can see is the gears don't work, they don't shift. It's, it's stuck in first gear, basically, for some reason. But it's probably a cable problem. Um, and the brakes need adjusting. I've pumped the tyres up, they've held air, there's no cracking, there's good tread. Um, rib, well, the brakes work, I've just got to, where is it? This end bit on here, you might be able to just make it a bit bent outwards and splayed outwards, so the noodle doesn't actually stay in there. So fix that, put that together, adjust the brake. Same with the rear. Um, that just needs a bit of tweaking. A good clean, because as you can probably tell, it's a bit dusty. And uh, it'll be good to go. I did, I've tightened, this was loose, so I've tightened it up hand tight for now. Adjustable stem. Aluminium. The handlebar is actually aluminium as well, I was surprised. I've checked it with a magnet, because I thought that was chrome, but the magnet won't stick, so it's got the aluminium. Aluminium cranks and aluminium V brakes, so it wasn't a budget bike. It's a Savannah. I've never heard of Savannah. Um, it's got um, sprung seat post on it, or suspension seat post, whatever you want to call it. That works. Um, but it appears to be stuck in the frame at the moment. <laughs> I hope that doesn't write the frame off, because I can't do anything with it if that's stuck in there. Well, I could, but it means damaging the frame to get it out, and I don't really want to do that. Anyway, the front suspension works fine. As far as I can tell, the wheels aren't buckled. I've got two of them adjust the front mudguard, because that rubs on the front wheel. But that is just a case of adjusting those uh, mudguard stays. Uh, yeah. But I took it just briefly up the road when I was at Mum's, because it was in, you know, it still works, it's in first gear. It's just third, um, second, third, and fourth. That's the weird thing with this as well, it's a four-speed wheel hub, like a three-speed hub, but a four-speed. A modern version, because this is a relatively modern bike. And it's grip shift as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to salvage that. If I couldn't salvage it, I was actually going to build myself a custom hybrid using parts from this. Um, which, of course, if I can't actually salvage the seat, I get it out. There are notes there isn't a um, thing there. If that's an aluminium seat post, it may have uh, seized into the frame. And I'm hoping it hasn't. I'm hoping... So if I just pry that clamp apart, because it is um, still tightly around that seat post, maybe soak it in some WD-40, it may release it, I hope. Because this is it's just too good to scrap. I don't want to scrap it. 
I mean, I could rip, I could actually build a really decent hybrid for myself out of this, if I wanted to. But, uh, like I said, I don't, because I don't want to ruin it. There's barely, well, from what I've seen, apart from the dust, there's not a mark on the frame. Apart from up here. It looks a bit marked to me where these have rubbed. That's just general wear and tear. You'll find, um, several bikes do that. I may add a couple of lights to this. I didn't think it had a rear reflector, but I took a photo of this, and that little red thing on the back of the seat reflected, so it has. I'll probably fit a front one. If I had a basket, I'd fit a basket on it. I may fit a um, rack on the back, because I think that would look nice. I do have a few decent ones. Ooh, excuse me, that wasn't... <laughs> I was meant to actually hold that in, but... Oh well. <laughs> Might as well. Let it all out. Better out than in, as they say. But, uh, oh, maybe not better out than in. Ooh. Yeah, um, did have a front light on it, but I had a feeling as soon as I popped the um, case off that the batteries had leaked and corroded everything, and uh, yeah, it had rather badly. That's why you don't leave cheap batteries inside something, because they have a very bad habit of doing that. Yeah, I don't think that's any good. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be um, pretty nice when it's done. Better than the grey Sirocco one I've got outside, which I've still got. Still haven't sold the bloody thing. I swear it's going to haunt me. Uh, the remains of a rear light bracket on the back here. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe the gear stopped working and it just got stood up in the garage or something. They just never bothered fixing it because everything else works pretty much. Uh, that V brake shouldn't be at that angle. <laughs> But I know the spring tension on at least one of those needs adjusting, which might actually straighten that up. And I will check and make sure all the wheel is central and it's got some nice mud guards on it. I think my friend is right though, because I took a photo of this and put it on Facebook and she said um, black mud guards, but I haven't got any black to put on it. I think the black ones would have looked better. Aluminium brake levers. There's a lot of alloy parts on this. That's got a worn off sticker there, all I can see is excellence. <laughs> well, I'm not actually sure if that is where to the frame, to be honest. It looks like it might be part of the paintwork there. Could be. It's not easy to see in this light, I'll have to look in daylight. Oh, I've got a couple of laptops there I've got to fix. This one I'm just going to give a general service. It's ex it's insanely slow. Windows XP, and it's actually a lot slower than it should be. So I'm just going to wipe it and reinstall XP. If I can get it working better than the one Mum's currently using, then Mum will use this one. Uh, and I'll take my old one back. And give that a bloody good service, I think. And get it going and just keep it here as a spare. Uh, the one in the carrier bag, Biggles gave him today. He managed to pick it up from the dump. The recycling centre. Um, there's no operating system on it, although it's got a Windows Vista sticker on it. I'll uh, stick Windows 7 on it. And that'll be another decent one for me to use. At least that way, Mum and Stepdad will have one each. So I won't get pissed off going, I want to use the laptop. But I need to check this. <laughs> I have one each. And uh, at least if Mum uses the XP for now, not unless I keep the XP and give her my Windows 7, because I don't use that thing. <laughs> but then again, that's the only... Well, that's the best laptop I've got, really. 
Ooh, it's freezing out there already. That would be early. That was um, around about zero degrees centigrade when Mum brought me home. First chance I get, I need to clean this bike up and get that done. I think I could actually sell this one rather quick because it is a nice bike. So I've got to admit that Sirocco isn't the best. Rides fine, works, but it just doesn't look good. So, I'm going to give it to the end of its 30 days on eBay, which I think is about a week left. If it hasn't sold, I'll just pull it apart for parts and build something, or use the parts to put on something better. Maybe I'll find something better in the meantime at the dump that needs some parts. You never know. <laughs> I'd like to have gotten over again at the weekend. Uh, but the friend, as far as I know, still wants to drag all my bits over here someday. Not unless I can put him off and get him to do it Monday. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I've, still got pl I've got plenty of these Pifco lights, haven't I? Although I don't think the black ones are Pifco, because they haven't got the brand on them. I think... It could just be, you know, a copy, I'm not sure, but it's exactly the same. Maybe it is, and because they put Pifco in black, they couldn't really put Pifco on these, could they? So, I'm not actually sure if these are genuine Pifco lights, or a copy. <laughs> so, these, this design of light has been around young, it's been around years. I had these in my teens, I think. No, early 20s. When I was in the early 20s, so a good 10 year or more ago, more than that probably now, they were good lights back then, I loved them. Good and bright. Not really that good, you know, to shine a beam to see with, but they're good and bright so you can be seen. And with these brackets, what you could do, you could put one either side of your fork, two up on the handlebar, one underneath your seat, and one either side of your back wheel. Well seen. You would be well seen. Oh, Trump. Oh, Trumped again. Can't oh, use that word for a while. Trumped. Not since I was at school, I don't think. Many moons ago. In the distant past. <sighs> now I feel old. Right. I've actually found with this Dell pocket piece here. Now that an ordinary biro with the tip in um works as a stylus. Uh, but um it's also touch screen so it doesn't really matter that much. I just want to check battery life. That's what I want to check on. How much have we got left? It's been sitting idle all day and we've got 24%. I suppose that's not bad. I think this is around about 2007, so for something, you know, a battery that old, lithium iron. Uh. I don't know what we can do. I'll just sit there for a minute. I'm just going to grab what we're that for behind me. I'm going to plug it in. It's got a USB cable on it, but I think that's just for data transfer and whatnot to a PC. I did get it to charge, but when it installed on the PC, it didn't want to charge. So I'm not sure what happened there. But, uh, we'll do it this way anyway. Or at least the in um, charge indicator light didn't come on. It might have been charging. Right, plug that in there. Plugged in, aren't we? There we 
we go. Status charging. Oh, look at this. Now that didn't do that when I plugged it into USB. That you can't read it, but that actually says Dell. I'll show you that on the other camera when I'm next using that. Well, I can actually watch it. It's up to 24% already. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK to go back. There we go. And I'll leave that to charge. They'll probably charge quicker from the mains. Where's the voltage output on this thing? I wonder what the heck this dinky little thing went to. What's the output? 5.4 volt. 240 milliamps. 50 hertz, 50 to 60 hertz, yeah, on the UK frequency. Yay! That's right. <laughs> a new toy to play with. In a sense, it's a shame stuff gets made obsolete like that, but it also means that when you look back on the past and past gadgets, you can sort of A, feel nostalgic, and B, I don't know why, but old gadgets to me are just awesome. I love old things. Is the clock still set? 11, 12? Yep. The clock is still reading correct. I set all that yesterday. I don't know what the hell I'm going to use it for. If you see if this is still charged as well. This has been on now for two days. I'll just hit the power button. Not breathe any life into it, or has it gone dead? No, nope. I think the battery's died in this one. I'm gonna have to charge that up. But uh, I think, even though that's, hang on a minute. That's because I'm using the wrong fucking tablet. That's why it's the one that don't work. Dumbass. Put the one that do work up there. Are we charged? We are. And that symbol still says fully charged. So it's been sitting idle for two days and that battery says fully charged. Okay. I oh, know the black one's dead. Mm. <laughs> Turn the camera off and go to the bathroom. I don't think I've got any more stuff to show off. Show off to show. Can't really show off because I've got nothing interesting to show off. Uh, even though the tape deck work on the stereo over there, because it was actually user user error, not stereo error. Um. I still wouldn't mind trying to find an older stereo just to put in the bedroom with the other older stuff. Why are you looking at me like that? You're looking at me as if he's going to do something. Did I lock the bike up? Yes, I've locked the bike up. That's, that's alright then. I haven't even purchased any Lego yet. Let's do that tomorrow. Once I've bought electricery. Because I forgot to top up the meter, so I ain't got a lot left at last till morning. Oh, well, that's what I did. I now looked up at the light. If you notice, there's one in the middle now. I went and bought the um, third one today, so that works. It's actually quite... um. Relaxing to sit by actually. I'll just turn that light on. You know? Not too bright, not too dim. Rated 1.2 watts, but um, might actually be a tad lower. Depends on the quality of the bulb. I don't have a um, any means to see what watts it's uh, pulling. But if we assume it's at least one watt. 
and it would be 3 watts, but if we assume it's the full 1.2, then that would be 3.6. Which still isn't a lot, considering if I had the maximum 60 watt bulbs in there, filament bulbs, that's 120, about 180 watts. <laughs> Mm, 3.6 or 180, I think I know which one I'd rather go for. Anyway, I'm going to call that quits for the video. I just thought I'd show you that quickly before it disappeared to the loo. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I don't really know why I do this with my thumb, to be honest. I've just got a habit of it now. Anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.